T. Clark, in this video is going to go over the AP Computer Science A, FRQ number two from 2024. So in two, this is our class uh, question. We have a scenario set up. So the, this question involves a scoreboard for a game. So we have a game played between two teams that are alternating turns so that any given time, one team is active and the other team is inactive. So we have inactive and inactive. So we have like turns. Um, during a turn, a team makes one or more plays, so we have a play, and each play can score one or more points, and the team's turn continues. Okay, so if they score a point, they keep going, and then, uh, or they can fail, in which case we don't add the points, and we switch teams. And then we're going to have the scoreboard class um, is used to keep track of the score. Okay, so a scoreboard class contains a constructor and two methods. So we have a constructor with two parameters. Um, First parameter is a string, uh, name of team one. The second one is a string containing the name of team two, so two strings. And the game always begins with team one as the active team. And then we have another method, and then we have get score. I'm not going to, mm, uh, I'm going to, yeah, I'll, I'll read through it. I always like to read through it first. The record play method has a single non negative integer. Okay, so it's um, that's a precondition for us. We don't have to worry about it. That is equal, oh, maybe we do have to worry about it. I don't know. Um, that is equal to the number of points scored on the play or zero if the play failed. If the play results in one or more points scored, the active team score is updated, and that's it. If the value of the parameter is zero, the active team's turn ends and we switch teams. And there's no return, so it's a void. So re record play is void. Then we have the get score method, which has no parameters. And the method re returns a string, um, I think. What is this like a two string kind of? Um, return the score of one hyphen, score two, followed by hyphen, and then the name of the team that's currently active. Okay, so name of the team that's currently active. Okay. Uh, here's, the, here's the example. This is what I'm looking for. Um, so we start off with a new scoreboard called game, which is red versus blue. And then we get the score, and obviously it's zero, zero. And that red is the current, yeah, current active, current, who's, whoever's turn it is. So it's red. And then I'm going to record play. That means red scores. And then um, it's still Red's turn. We haven't changed the blue's turn yet. And then record play zero. That means we switch to blue, but the score is still the same. We haven't added anything to the scores. Um, if we get score again, two in a row, it should be the same no matter what. All right, it hasn't changed. Then record play three. It's blue's turn. So blue gets three. There we go, three. And then record play one. So that means blue should add one. And then when zero means we swap to red now is active. Okay, then we record play zero. So it's Red's blue's turn and then blue gets four and then it's zero so we switch back to red so blue got that four so now it's eight and it's red turn now then it looks like we have another uh, another scoreboard versus with lions and tigers maybe they started our game a couple a half an hour later so we need to keep track of them as well but either way we start at zero zero and the first one lines it's their turn and then if i get the game uh the game score game dot get score it's still one eight red Okay, so I think I know what to do. Oh, that's part three. I'm going to keep this example open because I have some good stuff I want to look at, like the constructor and everything else. But first things first, public class scoreboard. No camel case. Scoreboard is one word. Enter bracket enter. So there we go. Scoreboard. One point probably for that line right there. Then I have what? I have the team. One team, team A, team B. So I'm going to say private. There are strings. Yeah, red or blue. So I'm going to say private string team A, and then private string team B. I'm going to keep track of whose turn it is. I'm not going to do it a different way than you might do it. I'm going to keep track of it with a string because I see right away with my two string, with my, um not two string, but it's like a two string, my get score, I'm returning red. And I don't want to have to do if statements for that. Um, you could have used a Boolean. You could have used a um, integer and used modulo two or something. But I'm going to use uh, turn as a string. And then I need the score. So I'll say score A is an int, and then private int score B is an int. And you can name these anything you want. I'm just naming them team A, team B, score A, score B. And as long as they're correct types and private for this, these top five, um, as long as they're strings and ints, or however you manage the turn, um, keep it consistent, you should be OK. And then first things, uh, next thing to do is my, uh, the first method, what kind of method is scoreboard constructor. And it has to match, it must match string something. 
string something. I'm not done yet because, but no matter what, it has to be a string, a string. I'm just going to call them A and B. Why not A and B? That's easy enough to do. And then my constructor sets up all the variables. So I'm going to say this dot team A equals A, this dot team B equals B, um, this dot turn equal whose turn is it? A's turn. A always starts. And then this dot score A equals zero. And then this dot score B equals zero. I think you might not need these lines in uh, Java because it sets to default, but it's better to uh, make sure you're initializing everything to zero. And if you notice, I have this dot as well. So in this dot, you want to make sure, um, oh, in this, in my example, you don't need to have the this is here. You could have done it like this and gotten the points. If, however, you said this was team A, or this one was team B, then you have to say this dot team A equals team A. So this on the left, same thing for team B, this dot team B equals team B. So if you're using the same variable na parameter names as my instance variable names up top, you have to use this. But I always use this, so that's why even um, when they're different, the way I do it, I'll go back to what I had because I like that. Whoop. I push control for, um, there we go. So there's my constructor with um, all five instance variables set up in the constructor. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, next thing, I'm going to do the get score. So you might have done the other one first, uh, record play, because it says record play second, but I like get score. I'm going to get these easy points out of the way. And so I'm going to say public string get score. And this is just like a two string for me. So I'm going to, it's really simple. You just return the string formatted nicely. So what do I have to have? I have to have the first score. So score A, first team score, plus that dash in quotes. And now, I, so plus is concatenate. So I concatenate that together. Uh, concatenate with plus score B, add that second dash, and then whoever's turn it is. And there we go. So my get score is easy because I have turn as a string. So because turn is a string, I could just say, okay, it's whomever's team it is, so red or blue, that's saved in this variable right here. Okay, so now I have to do record play. And honestly, when I did this one, I had to start on a new page. Well, I write big, um, but I started on a new page when I did this one. <sighs> record play, and then what's inside? An int. Uh, so the score or points, yeah, int points. So I'm going to say if, I'm going to switch the teams first. So if it's zero, let me scroll down, give myself a little bit of room here. So if P is zero, that's when they switch. Then I say the turn, oh, I don't know whose turn it is right now. So I need to check to see if turn equals team A. Oh, team A. So if it's team A's turn, then it's going to switch. Turn equals team B. There we go. And then we'll do an else. And then else the turn. So else applies that is team B's turn. So now turn turns back to turn, t, what, turn team A. So if it's a zero, I switch teams. So I'm just changing the turn to whatever team it is. OK, then well, what if it's not a zero? Um, Again, it said that it's a non-negative. Um, is that a, and I don't see any negatives in here in my example. So I'm assuming that's, that, that is, this statement means that's my pre precondition. So if in case I was worried about it, I'd write precondition uh, P is greater than or equal to zero. There's my precondition. Okay, otherwise I'm gonna do the else. So if it's not zero, it's positive. And when it's positive, what do I do? I have to add it to that score. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to see whose turn it is. If turn that equals team A. So if it's team A's turn, those points go to team, uh, how do I name it? Score A. Score A increment by P. And then otherwise, it's uh, team B's turn. That means score B gets those points. I think that's it, honestly. Get rid of some of that extra space. Let me run it, see if my uh, runner works. Oh no, what mistake did I do now? 
Let me see, let me see, let me see. In my main, record play, did I mess up? Oh, no, I did mess up. I wasn't paying attention. Record play. What's record play do? Oh, uh, nothing. So I didn't put anything, but you have to put, you have to put that void. I messed up. I fail. Oh, well. That would have been the point. Oh, no, what's, what's going on here now? Insert, insert. What's this on? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Scoreboard 45. Scoreboard 45. I missed, uh, I'm missing a semicolon. So when you're taking the test, you get you get a couple uh, leeways. You don't have to do the semicolon. There we go. So let's look at the output, and I have all of them correct. So here's my output right now, and this is what it should be based on what it is. Zero, zero, red. Looking back and forth. Run zero, red. One, zero, blue. One, zero, blue. One, three, blue. One, four, blue. So these are my what is outputting. One, eight, red. So that's good. I'm mat matching what it should be. So again, here's the solution for the full class for scoreboard. You got to get the private uh, instance variables, constructor, set up all the variables, easy two string type of prob uh, method right there. Uh, then the actual scoring method. Watch out for that void that I messed up on. Either way, have a good day.